What's your level of concern for Dak Prescott as he gets ready to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Thursday night football as the Cowboys get ready to take on the defending champs? This is the gray area right here on 105.3 The Fan. Of course, my name is Kevin Gray. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Kevin Gray Sports. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for 105.3 The Fan here on YouTube. And, of course, we are your undisputed home of Dallas Cowboys football and Texas Rangers baseball. You can find me on the weekends with my partner, the two-time, two-time Hall of Famer, Chris Arnold. Quote, he'll definitely be involved in some form of practice more than this week. But to stand here and tell you he'd be full go and take all the reps, I'm not there yet, end quote. That is head coach Mike McCarthy when talking about Dak Prescott and his ability to be available for more and more practice time as number four gets ready to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Thursday, September 9th in the opening game of the 2021 NFL season, quote, the biggest season ever in the National Football League. Of course, Dak Prescott's been dealing with a right shoulder strain throughout the duration of training camp. He was shut down on July 28th for a couple of weeks. You saw on Hard Knocks how much he's fiending to get back onto the football field. Quote, I've sat enough. I'm tired of sitting down. All the things that you've seen, Dak Prescott's ultimate frustration by not being able to participate the way that he has wanted to throughout camp. And the Cowboys have really had to save him from himself to ensure that they are slow playing this to get him ready to ultimately take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But what's interesting about Prescott and his dilemma here, and for the Cowboys specifically, is that regardless of how healthy Prescott was going into the game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, the Cowboys aren't favored to win the game. And what's natural to think, even with his injury, is that he was going to struggle against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers anyway, given how good this Bucks defense is with the likes of Antoine Winfield, JPP, Shaq Barrett, Levante David, whoever you want to name on this Tampa Bay Buccaneer defense led by Todd Bowles as their defensive coordinator, that Prescott could be potentially struggling against them anyway, especially with no real playing time during this preseason. Now, I'm one to also believe it's okay that Prescott's not going to play in this preseason. There's no reason to have him throwing in meaningless games, especially when your season is hinging on Four's ability to stay healthy throughout the duration of this 17-game year. So anything that you can do if you're the Cowboys to ensure that he is ready by the time you get to Thursday, September 9th, that's exactly what you should do. I do also understand on the other side of the coin that you want to see Prescott be able to knock some of that rust off. He will not have seen game action by the time you get to September 9th for nearly a year after suffering that devastating ankle injury against the New York football Giants. So you want to see him knock off some of that rust, take a couple of hits, be able to shake some of that off, and now know that he is fully ready to take on the full load going into the Tampa Bay game on the road. So there's two schools of thought there. But for the Cowboys, Mike McCarthy, this is where McCarthy has to continue and more importantly consistently demonstrate his leadership of this football team and ensure that he is in full control of what's going on here because his job rides on the idea that four is healthy throughout this season because as much as Mike McCarthy will not be on the hot seat in the eyes of Jerry and Stephen Jones in this Cowboys organization, you and I may think that it might, might be a little bit different. Now, I don't necessarily think McCarthy's on the hot seat going into this year. Now, after this year, if things don't pan out the way that they should for the Cowboys by at least making the playoffs, we're having a different conversation after this uh, the season is over with. But for Prescott, it's been a very interesting season, offseason for him, I should say. He gets the four-year $160 million deal on the cover of Sports Illustrated here recently, one of the stars of Hard Knocks, but also dealing with the shoulder strain that has had the NFL on pins and needles, more importantly, Cowboys fans on pins and needles. But for Prescott, as long as he's healthy by the time we get to the start of the 2021 NFL season, that's all that should matter at this point. All the things, joining the Jordan brand, the new $160 million deal, the Sports Illustrated covers, the endorsements, all of those things pale in comparison to being the starting quarterback and being healthy when he does so. He's got a trio of wide receivers that are looking to have a massive year, a motivated and healthy Ezekiel Elliott behind him, looking to get back to his Pro Bowl in all-pro form. Meanwhile, you have three studs on the offensive line and Tyron Smith, Leo Collins, and Zach Martin looking to prove that they are not going to be unhealthy going throughout the duration of this season. There's a lot to like on this offense. 
but none of it, and I mean none of it, matters unless four is healthy and ready to go. And the way that the Cowboys are playing it, I'm okay with it. And maybe you should be okay with it too. My concern level for Dak Prescott right now, it's about a two, two and a half. I'm not really that concerned about it. But by the time we get to week one and he struggles in week one and beyond, that's when things in business, as they say, could pick up. Let us know what your concern level is for Dak Prescott by commenting there in the comments here on 105 Through the Fan on YouTube. And again, make sure you hit that subscribe button for 105 Through the Fan here on YouTube. It's been another episode of The Gray Area. My name is Kevin Gray. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Kevin Gray Sports. We'll talk to you later. Peace.